Happy Thanksgiving, friends, and welcome back, Loungefly lovers. Welcome to Living on the Fly. Today, we have something different than what we normally do. Today, I have some boxes that I actually know what they are from Cordy's Corner. They're pre-orders that I had ordered, and I've been so excited. I can't wait to open them up. It's something that I really, really love, a character that I love so very much. I can't wait to share those Loungefly bags with you, and you know we'll probably open up a couple of those other boxes that I've had waiting for quite a while <laughs> oh and by the way our friend fairy floss our co-host stopped by she wanted to come and show you her fit of the day um she's ready for thanksgiving y'all she is absolutely ready for some turkey so much so that she has one on her head show them your hat fairy floss isn't that cute she loves her hat it's a turkey look at that little turkey wing on the side so cute she has a really cute dress on. You did a good job, Fairy Floss. I'm worried about her spending habits, though. Mm, she buys a lot of gifts for herself. But that is a beautiful dress, Fairy Floss. I really do like it. Well, she is really well known for her pies. You may not know she's a great baker. And so she's got to get busy. She's going to um, go and uh, start baking tonight, right, Fairy Floss? Yeah, okay. So we're going to let her go on and do her baking and get her preparations done for Thanksgiving while we open up some lounge fly bags all right y'all i opened the box so you wouldn't have to watch me struggle and i didn't even peek i'm really good <laughs> not normally but this time i was good i didn't even look now i don't normally but it is from cordy's corner as i mentioned several times and here's what it was right on the box stay up to date on all of our exclusives releases live sales special offers we can read all that right there thank you from cordy's corner they um they're great to small shop i buy a lot from them so we appreciate them sending that card packing slip let's get to it all right let's see what we got first um i want to see this first yes so y'all know that uh, Sleeping Beauty is my all-time favorite. She's my favorite OG princess. Um, if you didn't know, my favorite new princess is Tiana. Love her. But you can never go wrong with uh, Sleeping Beauty. Boy, they package this well. <laughs> it's got so much tape on it, but I just want to see it. I just want to see it. And I know y'all do too. So let's get into it. Ooh. Okay. Oh, can't lose this. You know how I like to keep my stuff in order. Oh, I broke a nail. Hmm. Oh, well, I just want to see this bag. So, let's take this off. Ta-da! The Sleeping Beauty crossbody. Oh, you guys, I love the colors. You know I love fairies, obviously. I named my, my friend Fairy Floss, my fur puppy. Um, and this is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, it's soft. It feels different than almost like suede, but it's not so pretty. So it's very similar. If you've seen the Finding Nemo bag, they um, also use this type of design when um, they made the bubbles. And as you know, our uh, fairy friends did make their bubbles and they on their way to go to the castle to bestow their gifts on our fair uh, Aurora, Briar Rose, Aurora. Um, and you can see the castle in the background. There's an applique right here comes up off the bag the colors are pretty i love that um that vintage um style it has um the artist that made the uh, castle look at the pretty lounge fly plaque y'all know that's one of my favorite colors right there love that on the pink but this is what makes it so unique you know that little that little bubble right there is a pocket it has gold hardware and it has a small baby lf with the crown i've never seen that with a small one that's interesting. Gold hardware, as you saw. On the back, on the sides, there are no pockets. And on the back, it says a daughter was born, and they called her Aurora. Isn't that pretty? I like that. But, you know, if you've seen it, if you've seen the, the Lounge Fly Live, or if you went on the, on the website, this is why I really wanted it too. Look how cool this is, y'all. They mm, they pay attention to detail as well. And y'all know that's what makes Lounge Fly so very special is that they're very unique. They're unique for sure. Look at this strap. Look at this strap. It has the two 
fairies in their bubbles. Isn't that cool? We have Fauna and we have Flora and Meriwether. She got to be right on the front of the bag. So good for her. Yeah, her PR guy did a good job. Um, they're little, they're little bubbles. You can't open them or anything. Aww. It's a little smooshed. In. Who am I going to get that out? I'll figure it out. Rat's whiskers. Okay. All right. Anyway, I'm going to have to work on getting that bubble to bubble back out. See, that's the only problem when you have unique designs like that, but that's okay. I'll figure it out one way or the other. That's the strap. Let's see what's on the inside. Ah, the fairies. They're in all different colors, y'all. Look. Those are pretty. I love pastels, too. Those are somewhat pastel -y. See if it has a um, pocket, for those of you wanting to know. It has a slip pocket. It does have a slip pocket. So that's super cute. The only thing I can say is I am a little disappointed about the bubble being not burst, but <laughs> dented for sure. Super cute, but I won't ever use this as we know, but that makes it so cute. Still happy with it because I love my girl Aurora. All right, let's check out the next bag. This is the backpack. So upon further inspection of these little bubble charm thingies, they're both really dented and I can't get them out. I can't get it poofed back out. So I might send it back because you know this is something you're going to want to show people. You're like, oh, and look at this. It has this on it. And then they're like, hmm, that thing looks jacked up. So do I... Oh, y'all, another package just got delivered. <laughs> I just saw him walking by. <laughs> I'll see what that is in a minute. But <laughs> first, <laughs> do I send this back or do you think do you think they're all going to be like that? I don't know. I'm sure that Cordy's Corner will be more than happy to help me out with that. But um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed. I'm not going to lie. And for some reason, I thought that one would be a little lower so you could see both of them. But they're like on the same hook thing. And I don't see a way to take them off. So it would have been cute to have one floating up here and one down here. So you could see both of them, right? But um, yeah, I love the concept. I just um, not sure. Mm. I'm just a little disappointed in that. But you know, I'll see if I can get it taken care of, okay? So now we're gonna look at the next bag, okay? Let's open it up. Hopefully we have better luck with this one. <laughs> no issues. Let's get into it. Y'all get to see it before I do. I don't want to mess it up. Maybe a little more careful. Oh, y'all, it's beautiful. At least the side is. Oh, here we go. See, they should have. Why didn't they do that? Um, well, they couldn't because it doesn't open up. Anyway, look. So see this? These bubbles have the little poo, the little um, foam on the inside, but that's because you can open it up. That makes sense. But it is Oh, it's so, so pretty. Now this I'm happy with. This I'm extremely happy with. Okay, so we have the three zippered pockets. Again, very similar to the uh, Nemo bag that had the little bubbles. And we have uh, Fauna, Flora, and Meriwether. And they're floating in their um, respective bubbles there with their colors. I really like that. They're so pretty. Oh, I want the Jim Shore of the um fairies oh i'd love to have all those anyway i like this so each one of them is a small bag not enough room to put anything in but why would you want to anyway because then you they're see-through and you can see your stuff nobody wants to see all that um i love the print on the bag the print down oh this is textured i wish i don't know why i'm sure look it's textured you can feel it but it's pretty cool um that's like the moat oh that's the castle wall very pretty pink clouds on this beautiful blue so pretty we got the same um colored uh placard there that i love love that color on both sides well it's the same on both sides but look at the now this is detail look at this so it's cut out right here and it's a window and then it even has cutouts here as well um working um pockets on either side 
Also the lovely blue, the pink and the blues, and a little bit of a more cornflower blue for the trim with, again, the gold hardware on the side there. So pretty. The back has the same print as it did um, on the crossbody. Same print. Very pretty. Let's check out what's on the inside. Oh, and the straps are, are two-toned. I like it when they do something like this. You know, I really like it when they put a print on the um, straps. I wish they would do more of that. Because you're holding it this way, then people can see, right? You want them to be able to see something snazzy. <laughs> At least your girl here does. I'm, I'm anything if not subtle. <laughs> you could probably tell, right? Um, on the inside, same lining. Same lining as the other. See that right there? Pretty, pretty. And let's see if it has a pocket. Slip pocket again. Slip pocket again. So what do you think of this bag? Which one would you rather have if you were going to pick one? Would you pick the, the backpack or the crossbody? See, I had to have both because, I don't know, I just had to have both. And guess what else I got? Even though I told y'all I wasn't going to do it anymore. Yep, you're about to see them. Let's look at them. Well, y'all, I had to get the wallet. I had to, right? <laughs> I got the wallet. Um, you know, it can be used for both of the bags, of course. And it has the fairies on it. So, let's see what it looks like. Oh, ooh, okay. Look at that. Would you look at that? That's pretty cool. Look at Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether over the baby's crib or cradle, whatever it is. It's cute. It's cute. Look at that. I like that. That makes me happy. Um, also, gold hardware we have there and a picture of the pretty castle. Ooh, with that same beautiful uh, plaque right there, the color. Love it. Love it. I love pink and blue, as y'all know. If you followed the channel at all, you know I love make it pink or make it blue. Someday, that bag will be mine. Mm. I saw one for $400 on my car, y'all. $400. Mm. That's a car payment right there, right? <laughs> or if you have a fancy car, it's a little less than that, but... Check that out. The inner lining is the same as the uh, other bags, but it has a crown. Can you see that crown right there? I don't know. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Her tiara, her crown. Very pretty. I'm happy with this. This makes me happy. Um, we'll see about the other, uh, the strap situation, the charm situation, and I'll let y'all know what they say. I'm sure they'll I'm sure they'll take care of it. All right, so one more wallet that I got. Now y'all may have already seen. Have you seen the um, new, the new um, Alice in Wonderland? Oh, oh y'all, that Cheshire Cat that's coming out. Remember we talked about which one was going to be the next on the 100. That Cheshire Cat is fire. I cannot wait, and hopefully I get it. That bag is so pretty. If you haven't seen it. Go check it out. It's coming soon. Um, they haven't set a release date as of yet. I think it's going to be in December, but um, you know your girl has to have that. It's a 100 Decades bag, um, the Platinum Series. So pretty, so pretty. But they also released a little bit of um, some other Alice in Wonderland. And since I already showed you that I got one of my grill bags, which was the uh, White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, I had to get... I told y'all I wasn't going to get wallet. I was going to try not to get any more wallets. But of course I did. I got the wallet. I figured this would go nicely with the bag. Don't y'all think? It may be a bit much, but I still, you know, too much is never enough, I guess. <laughs> no, it's going to be a lot. But I like it. It is so cute. Now, you know I'm going to get this dirty. Girl, I did not realize it was that fluffy. But that's okay. It's very fluffy. Um, and um, it has the... Uh, embroidery for the face yeah so you know when you're touching all this you have to be careful mm, it is very very nice though i like that what do y'all think this is all white fur um it's sherpa more of the sherpa um with the vegan leather down here oh it has a sparkly little belt light thing right here that red has sparkles in it mm, very cute let's see what the oh the back white placard there you go gold hardware i'm trying not to touch the fur 
And the inside has a red interior with the heart. And it has the cards. Oh, it has the um, the queen as well. Check that out. It has a heart. Yes, queen of hearts is in there as well. Nice. I like this. I am going to have to be careful, though. I did not think too much about that one, obviously, about the white situation. But your girl will have to be extra careful. This is one of those things you can't really wash very well either. At least with this stuff, you can wash it off. But that's okay. All right, so that's it for Cordy's Corner. Y'all want to open another one? I think we have to. I have a few Macari bags over here that I really want to open up too. Let's go ahead and do that, okay? So I'm not quite sure what this one is, but I do know it came in a rather small box. I um, uh, hope it's not really smooshed in there, but let's see what it is, okay? Let's see how they packed it. Um, so far, it's in a Walmart bag. Hey, but at least at least it's covered, right? And it is not stuffed either. Y'all, please just stuff the bags. Just stuff the bags. That's okay. I got stuffing. I got stuff. I got put it in there. This is the 50th. Oh, it looks really good. Y'all, I got it for a really good price. Really good price. And I could not pass it up. It is the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary bag. Everybody seems to have it. And I wasn't going to get it because I have other stuff too. But um, I don't know. I thought it was pretty. And it is pretty. And it was a really good deal. So it is that rose gold color for the, um, is it supposed to be gold? Because it really looks rose gold. But I like it. It's very pretty. It has a big 50th on it. Uh, it has the fireworks and stars. And those stars are embroidered in that gold floss, that gold thread threading. So pretty. That's a very pretty bag. Yeah, it is rose gold because look at the side. See, there, there's the rose gold and that's the gold hardware. But I love the attention to detail. Y'all know I like those little those little touches that make lounge fly, lounge fly. Um, the bag, the uh, pockets are working. Again, you have the embroidered stars on the side there. Also on this side, the pockets work. Oh, pretty parks. Oh, it's a Disney Parks bag. That's why. Disney Parks bag. Lounge fly plaque right there. And on the back. Oh, I didn't notice this. Y'all who have this already probably noticed this. But look, see how it's different? I like this. It's more of a handle, a satchel handle. And I like that too because I do carry my bags a lot like this. Especially when I'm walking into work or, or just walk getting out of the car. You pick it up. You put it on your backpack. I'll carry it around like this. This is so pretty. Straps are black with gold hardware. And then it does say Walt Disney World 50 with some little fireworks on there. Oh, it's holographic. It turned blue, then it turned pink. Can you see that? I don't know if that's going to pick that up. It turned all kind of colors. Yeah, there you go. You can see a little bit there. That's another one of those attention to details that make Lounge Fly special. Of course, the front is a um, is a pocket. This one's a nice size pocket, y'all. Look how big that is. You could actually put something in there. Yeah, quite handy. Quite handy. I'd be careful, though, because of that uh, steeple on the castle right there. Getting in and out of it. I wouldn't want to mess with it too much. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, okay. So this matches that holographic um, 50 on the back there. See how it's like ombre, those ombre colors of the characters and the, um, yeah, you got Mickey, you've got 50th again on the castle, you've got some music and instruments. It's pretty. It's a pretty bag, y'all. I like that. That is very nice. Oh, it's very nostalgic, isn't it? Love it. All right. We got another bag done. Y'all want to do another one? Yeah, let's do it. You know I like opening these bags. Ah, uh, it'll be one one less box around here. Hmm. So I lied to y'all. <laughs> there was something else in the box from Cordy's Corner. Um, so this is a pin. It's the matching pin that goes with the whole set from the uh, Sleeping Beauty series. Uh, this is a pin limited to 1900. Now, my family said, please don't start pins. Don't start something else. And um, I've been good. I haven't really done that. Um, there are a few. But this one I had to get. I really had to get it uh, because I love Sleeping Beauty. And I love the fairies. And I cannot get into this box, y'all. 
Y'all don't even know what's on the inside. You can see it. Let's see if we can just show it this way. I probably will keep it in the box. But look, there are the fairies. It matches uh, nicely with the uh, with the bag. I think it's really pretty. Limited edition of 1900. Yes, very pretty. Where am I going to put this? I don't know. I don't have any pin boards yet. I mean, I don't have any pin boards at all. <laughs> I'm going to try my best not to get into pins, y'all. I love lounge fly so much. They make beautiful pins too though, don't they? They really do. All right, now we're going to go and open up some more boxes. I'm just going to go ahead and open them up so you don't have to watch me try and get them out of the box, okay? So this is another Macari bag that I'm not sure what it is. So we're going to find out together. But I do know whoever packaged this, they made sure nobody was getting into this. I almost didn't get into it. So but you know where there's a will, there's a way. Or where there's a will, where there's a lounge fly, there's a way. <laughs> You know, whatever. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, I must. I don't remember. What is, what is this one? I think this. This is another Disney Parks bag. Was this one of the anniversary ones as well? I believe so, but it doesn't say anything about it being one. Um, I got an excellent deal on this. I do remember I got an excellent deal um, on Macari. All of them were going like for 179, 100 and whatever. I think I got it for like 45, something like that. If you keep your eyes, I don't want to get, I'm, I'm gatekeeping. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Check it out because you can find some good deals on there for sure. And right now, Amazon is having all those uh, Black Friday deals. So you might catch you a bag on there for pretty cheap. There's some on there that are pretty good. All right, so this is um, a pretty park bag. Um, it's obviously that brush, almost brushed gold sequins uh, and with navy blue, somewhat navy blue um, accents. It's a very pretty bag. Oh, and it's holographic. Yeah, this is in good shape for the price. It's real good. All right, they just didn't stuff it, but that's all right. You have a nice, a nice size. Um, front pocket with gold hardware to match the gold obviously uh you have the pretty plaque disney parks and check out that holographic glow yes it is giving dun, dun, dun. reminds me of like an old disco or something so pretty love that the back is plain i can tell this uh, this feels like it's gonna make my back sweat <laughs> And you're walking around and it's on your back. Um, that's okay. Um, I don't normally get bags like this, but the ears are on there pretty good. I noticed that last one I got. You remember the um, the, the green and blue, the purple and the sequins one that was beautiful. Um, the ears didn't seem to be on it really well. Like they were not attached so so well. Oh well. On the sides here, you do have working pockets with that same um, trim right there on either side. And the inside has Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Very, very, um, very classy. Very classy. Let's see what the if it says anything about it being a um anything special bag. I thought it I thought for sure. If y'all know, would you put in the comments what if this is a if this is a commemorative bag, commemorative bag or not? Whatever it is, it's super pretty. I like it. It's a very pretty bag. I think it'd be uh, a nice um, all year round bag. You know, when you want to be a little more subtle. Sequins. <laughs> always subtle. It's always subtle. Glitter and sequins you should always wear 24-7. That's my thought. I like it. What do y'all think? It's a pretty bag. Yeah, not that much more to say about that. You know, I like things that make that do tricks. Um, I do love things that uh, do tricks. and And I guess this could be... The sparkle oh, is the trick. Thank you for sticking with me this long. If you have made it to the end of the video, I do appreciate it. Um, I just want to let you know that I will be having my um, Christmas unboxing soon. I have quite a few boxes that are just for Christmas, Christmas um, lounge flies. Um, and of course, I'll be changing out the setting after Thanksgiving because I wanted to pay homage to Thanksgiving. And, and um, I am very thankful for all of you that watch as well. I am going to be in a new movie again. Um, there is, I'll be shooting that soon, and I'll let you know more about that uh, once that one is released. I have four other ones, I think, uh, that precede this one, uh, so it should be fun. I'll give you some juicy info on that. I heard there's drama on the set already. 
don't tell anybody I said that. <laughs> I'm just joking. There's not. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. Um, yeah, tomorrow I, I shoot um, one of my scenes with my good friend Vesta. So looking forward to that. And if you wouldn't mind, again, I'll say it again. Please hit that like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe. If you wouldn't mind to share this with other people, um, I would like to be able to get my subscribership up. That would be fun uh, to have more people and more people more fun and that means more lounge flies for all of us to look at okay i would love that so thank you for sticking around with me from myself and fairy floss she's in there cooking right now <laughs> we both say thank you and keep living on the fly